In this video, I will teach you how to use two great chart patterns which just earned me $2,500. Watch how. Hi traders, take a look at AAOI. Look at this chart pattern. It's amazing. It doesn't come much better than that. I really want to get involved. Look at this $87 mark. I will short it under $87. And not only I will short it under $87, even though I have like a 60, 70 cent stop loss, I'm going to take the regular full size 4,000 shares. So just watch it right here under $87. Here we go. Actually, it didn't. Now it moved. Okay, now it moved under $87. I want you to take a look at the chart and remember how this formation looks like. Look at the first candles coming down. Look at this consolidation here near the lows. Look at the breakdown under 87 whole number. Again, we always short stocks under whole numbers because whole numbers is support. So we just came down under 87 and I wish this trade is going to make it, but I really love it. And I want you to remember this formation, this candle formation. We are looking good, but we are not yet under the lows. I need to sit under 86.29. That's the lows because this kind of formation, and again, it's a great looking formation. Just remember how it looks and take it whenever you see it. Just take it whenever you see it. It's a formation that should send this stock under the lows. Here we go. We are at the lows now. Did we get now? Yes, we've got a new low. Here we go. Here we go. Just move down 80 cents. I'm getting ready for my partial. I'm going to cover 3,600 shares if it moves higher. Watching the sellers. I don't watch the chart. Watching the sellers is watch the sellers. Only the sellers. I don't care about the chart. Watch the sellers at 86.43 right now. 34, 20. Here we go. We're going down. Can we move under 86? Let's see if we can move under 86. There we go. Under 86. Watch the sellers. Watch the sellers. You want to take your partial if the sellers are moving higher, not before. They don't look at the chart. Watch the sellers right now. 97, 85, 97. If it moves over 86, oh, it moved up too much. I need to buy. I need to cover. Covering. And here is the result. Up. $2,600, left 400 shares, looking great, AOI. And again, I want you to take a look at this amazingly good pattern. Take a look at the chart, remember it. When you see anything that looks like that in the future, go in, all in. That's a great looking pattern and it always works great for me. Guys, look at that. That's very interesting intraday move in NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA is popping up right now with a very high volume. This could be intraday news. I have no idea. I never chase the price up as it moves higher. I was watching this for the last few minutes, and I'm telling you, it's not something you want to join unless you see a pullback. And there is a pullback right now, but I need the pullback to be much lower than this. That's not enough. If it's going to come down, I'm going to join it. If it's not going to come down, I may join it, but very small size. I don't see it coming down. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Well, you want to see a pullback, but you need to see it a little bit more substantial. And right now, it's holding near the highs. It's not bad. Now, whenever you look at something like that, you really want to join. I mean, we are humans. We want to join success. And we see the stock moving up that way. Here's the pullback, but it's not enough. When we see something that moves up that much, we want to join. The volume is growing. It looks great. I'm going to go long over 168, 60 something, somewhere over here. But I'm going to take just half size because I'm a little bit concerned. Here we go. I'm going to take half size. It's going to be 400 shares. I'm going to go long 400 shares. And I'm planning that if I'm wrong, I'm going to go to my intended quantity, which is 800 shares, but I'm going to add if it moves down. Okay, I don't have yet a trigger. I still hope it's not going to trigger now. I still hope it's going to come down, and then I'll go in with my 800 shares. But if not, I'll go 400 and add another 400 if it doesn't make it. Okay, here we go. We are very close to the trigger price. Oh, we're going there. We're going there. We're going there. I'm going to go long. I'm going to go long. Going long. 400 shares. Okay, I just went long 400 shares. We're going to move over the highs. That's great. I'm going to have a winner, but half size because that pullback is not enough. That pullback is not enough. And as you can see, doesn't really make it now. Okay. Okay. That was a part of the plan. That was a part of the plan. Now, 
as I mentioned earlier, if I'm going to see a valid pullback, oh, not good. If I'm going to see a valid pullback, I'm going to buy the rest of my quantity, which means another 400 shares. Now, that's in no way averaging down a loser. That is not averaging down a loser because I never do that. I don't want to see it under 168. If it moves under 168, that whole number should get support there and it shouldn't pull back more than that. Take a look at the chart. When I'm saying I, want, I don't want to see it under 168, that means taking a look at the way the chart looks like right now. Here's this 168. I don't want to see it under. I don't want to see it under. Otherwise, I'm going to have a loser of 400 shares. No, we get support. Whole number. Good. Now, if it's going to move higher, I'm going to add another 400 shares. That should have been my original trade. Of course, I was hoping earlier that it's going to move up. It did not move up intentionally. I moved in with 400 shares, which is my half size. I don't want to see it under 168. That should be my stop loss. Okay, it's holding. So again, I'm going to add another 400 shares. I wanted to join a winner earlier, and that's very human. Everybody likes to do that. About to add. Everybody likes to join a winner, so I joined it with half quantity, and I was waiting for the right reversal to happen. And maybe that is the case right now where I'm going to add another 400 shares. So yes, I'm averaging my first trade. Yes, my average trade is a loser, but intentionally, Originally, I moved in with half size, knowing that there's a very good chance that it's going to come down and come back up again. So that's in no way to be considered averaging a loser. That is not the case. It was planned. Here we go. Long. Another 400 shares. Now I've got 800. That is what I was supposed to be doing originally, but of course I couldn't have known that it's going to come down. Here we go, here we go, back to the highs, very close. I need to see it over the highs, much over the highs. My average price right now is 168.50 something. Therefore, I need to see it very close to 169. 169 would give me my target. Only 169. But 169 is a whole number. And therefore, I'm a little bit concerned it's not going to go through the 169. That is, of course, if it's going to go over the highs, which is 74 first. Okay, just to summarize what we've seen until now, this trade is not over, could still be a loser, but what you're seeing here is the plan of how to move into a trade. Here we go, close to the highs, when you're not sure about it. If you're not sure about a trade that you're taking, just like was in my case right now, here we go at the highs and over the highs. Lovely. And we're going and we're going. I still need to see it close to 169. That is not enough. I'm up like 25 cents now. It's not enough. Okay. So if you're not sure about trade, lower your size. And if it does what you were expecting it to do originally, you can add. So if you do have a trade that looks like a potential winner, you can add later not at your first entry. Here we go. Very close to my target. Ver there we go. At my target right now. At my target right now. About to take a partial of 600 shares. It's getting close to the 169, which I'm a little bit concerned. It's not going to go through. It was like two cents below the whole number. I'm a little bit concerned it shall not go over. Okay, now. Took my partial. That was a nice trade. I mean, nothing too fancy. Not a huge winner, but I did manage it correctly. I did trade it the way I was supposed to trade it. I did move in at smaller size and added when I really had the right opportunity. And it looks great. No more concern because I've just took a partial of 600 shares. Here we go, 169. Look at the number of sellers at whole numbers. Didn't move yet. Did not move yet. That's my concern was 169, the whole number, but it still does look great. Hope this was an interesting trade formation for you and maybe you understood the way a little bit better. Oh, we just moved over 169. There we go. Great. <laughs> that looks great. So another $287 added to my account. Thank you very much for watching this and see you next time. 
Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.